you know 60% of college students think texting and driving has no negative effect of the driving ability? Hey man, we've heard that old bullshit before. This is not just a problem about college students. This is a nationwide issue. Texting and driving affects everyone. You are four times as likely to get in an accident while drunk driving, but eight times as likely to get in an accident while texting and driving. That shit is crazy. Are you telling me that it's safer to get into a car with this person than it is to get into a car with this person? The CDC found that one in five car crashes was due to distracted driving. So that's Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. It all makes you a more risky driver. Just imagine how many of your friends at UNC would be at risk of getting in an accident with someone who was texting. Man, you can't text and drive. Hey man, that's, that's just for most people. I'm way better than most people. I got so much skill. If everyone else is going to be lazy about this, we, as Carolina students, are going to step up and make this change happen. Here at UNC, we want to take a stand. We are so freaking tired of the complacent acceptance of something so dangerous. I don't text and drive because that's just dumb. We asked other Carolina students how they avoid texting and driving, and this is what they said. I put my phone in airplane mode. I have an app that turns off texts at a certain speed. I put my phone on silent. I pass the phone to my passenger. I just turn my phone off. I just don't pay attention to it, and I check texts when I get there. This movement starts with you. There are steps that you can take to eradicate texting and driving. Share this video with five of your friends and like us on Facebook, and we can make this movement possible. Let's start this together.